Hey y'all, let's check out Chiba. Hey y'all, welcome to day 24 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're going to be looking around Chiba. This is an industrial district themed Sam. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check, and then we can continue. So today I went with another simple outfit. Because this land is fairly dark, I just didn't want to do too much. So we have the platinum accessories, the same old, same old accessories. Got some sunglasses going on. Got my little netted top with my little belt bag and some jeans and then for the shoes um, we've seen these shoes many many times it's one of my favorite pair of shoes they go with everything and they have a color hood so this is my outfit you guys so let's go ahead and continue so yeah i feel like this land would be really really nice for pictures so i definitely wanted to bring you guys here um i am not in the shared environment and this land is tp friendly so i really did like that the shared environment is very dark very very dark i feel like it's even too dark in my opinion to um just walk around it even if you're not um recording so i definitely wasn't going to use their shared environment but because they do have a lot of neon things here i did feel like or i do feel like it is a fitting lighting it's just a little darker than what i would like to see um on the land um i this to me is even a little dark so but you know we're going to go ahead and continue. I don't want to make it too much lighter because I don't want to take away from the ambiance um, on the land. Because they do have like a lot of bright colors and things like that here with the graffiti and just all of the little extra add-ons that they have. So on Second Life Facebook, I always see like a lot of pictures where people do like these type of like grunge, cyberpunk type pictures. I'm just walking on you all. So I'm like, I don't even know where this is leading me. I'm just walking. So this is a cute little club. So you see how like it's dark, but they do have a lot of um, neon aspects to it. And I really like that. So they have a little bar. It gives me a very, like a very um, futuristic type vibe. And I love futuristic um, lands. I love like spacey lands and things like that. I, I get a little um twisted when it comes to which one i like better between like the pretty beachy type lands or like the lands that are very like futuristic and things like that and i feel like it's it's a bit of a draw i love a little bit of everything in second life but i definitely like um out of some out of the ordinary type lands it just makes you think and being that this is second life i kind of have come to expect some out of the norm um lands and things like that but i do kind of feel like as of lately they do tend to err on the side of normalcy which is nothing wrong with that i just know that you know things can get a little wicked when it comes to like landscaping and things like that and i do look forward to those type of elements so like this land for me is right up my alley it does remind me of in silico and then another land that i went to was that voodoo land i think it was that they give me like these like punk type industrial vibes and i really do like that this is a really nice dance floor i love that everything is so bright i love how they contrasted the elements so it's a lot of darker like aged weathered metals with these bright neon almost like miami type vibes um colors especially with the flamingo and things like that but then it also has like a futuristic techie feel to it with like these monitors and things like that that just feel very like techie dark webbish for me oh i love looking at um i love the dj equipment look how cool this looks super nice the dj equipments they're always so intricate and now that everyone does mesh like the buttons are like look they look so so realistic i love dj equipment and um in second life they always look super nice 
So this land is not on a full sim and it is in the air, but they did a lot with a smaller space, which I always find very intriguing when landscapers are able to really make the most out of the space without using like a full sim. That does take a level of expertise in my opinion because when you have a smaller land but you want to do a lot of things on them you really have to think outside of the box when it comes to how you're going to decorate the space and the items that you're going to use to decorate the space in order for it to feel like a larger space even when it's on a smaller space or like a smaller parcel so this is cute. This is just like a little side restaurant with the ramen. I love it. So you see how like the area looks very like, okay, I could I could see this in 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 the world now. But then they have like this little cyber type feel to it that really gives it like a different type of feel. It's like, okay, it's it's something a little more going on here. And I like it. I really like that they have meshed the two um, like times together, like the, the today modern times with the techie futuristic times. I really like that. So all of the places that you can take pictures here, I feel like all the pictures will come out very, very nicely. You get the option of being in spaces that have more lighting like this or spaces that have less lighting like um, the streets. And I do like that they give you an opportunity to kind of pick and choose the type of lighting that you want um, with and, and being able to still stay within the close to the shared environment lighting that they have um, supplied. When I come to these lands, I really never know what to expect. Like I said, I pan out and that's about it. And so I really, really like all of the different aspects that they put together on this land to just kind of give so many different vibes um, around every corner. I really, really like that. So it's like a little coffee shop. Let me see what kind of pastries they got. You know, I, I love the food in Second Life. It's so pretty. They have a lot of little pound cakes and some bunt cakes. Very nice. I think this is some of the same items. These are some of the same items. They have little seating spaces and things like that. Over here, we got the little cubs with the little kitty cat. Let's look at the cat. So yeah, this was, when I, when I saw it, I said, this is gonna be like an awesome place to take pictures. I found this place today, believe it or not. I found this place today. I find myself coming on and just doing a lot of looking around just to try to find places that I like, that I would like to show you guys. I never um, just show you a place to, to just have some place to show you. I go to places, I show you guys places that I wanna see. So if I go to a land and I don't like how the land looks, no shade to any landscapers, but everybody has like their flavor of what they like to look at in Second Life. So if I go to a land and I don't like how that land looks, I'm not gonna show it to you because I don't wanna walk around it. I don't wanna see it. So I know y'all not, yeah, not gonna wanna see it either. And you definitely not gonna wanna see it for me knowing how I feel about, you know, when I goes around these lands. I'm not about to fake in front for nothing. Um, especially not on Second Life. I, I've been down that road when I was younger. I, I never want to be that again. So I go to places where I know you guys are going to enjoy it because I'm going to enjoy it. And from the feedback that I get on the videos, we kind of like the same type of stuff. So I really, really enjoy bringing these videos to you guys. But there were a couple lands that I went to today and I was like, yes, yes, and yes. I was very surprised because a lot of times I will go to lands and I'm just like, mm -mm, no, I'm not bringing this to them. I feel like it would come across extremely unauthentic and I feel like you guys would be able to pick up on that if I was to show you guys a land that 
I didn't want to see because I wouldn't be excited about it. And I would be able to tell through the editing and things like that, that this wasn't necessarily a land that I wanted to see. But like I said, everybody has their different vibe in Second Life as to the things that they want to see. So I'm glad that there are, um, it's a multitude of lands that cater to the things that I want to see. So on the land, they have like these little teleport systems and it'll take you to different destinations. I literally just found it a second ago. So when you guys come here, you guys can find it yourselves um, because I feel like that is gonna be a really nice adventure for you guys to go on to try to find a little teleporter because I promise you, I didn't know that they had those here. The land that, the space that we were on, I really thought that that was it. I was legit about to close the video out until I was like, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, what is this, what's this? I thought it was a light on the ground. That's the only, that's the only clue I'm gonna give you guys. I thought it was a light on the ground, it was not. And not only is it a teleporter, like it has quite a few places that you can teleport to, so. This is their garden, so pretty. I love little surprises like this. Uh, so, so they really, really did a good job with occupying the space that they have with little separate spaces from the main area. And I think this is brilliant. So they might have this on like a Sam, but they have these like little space. Well, I, this is the first space that's like outside of the land. Cause like if we go over here, like this is the land that we were on, but then this is over here. So I don't know if they have like a full Sam and then they, um, they're not using a full Sam for like the main area. And they just kind of have little spaces um, separated out. I'm not sure. Cause this is the only space that's separated out thus far. I haven't checked out any of the other areas, but this is such a beautiful garden. It's so pretty. I love it. You guys know I love the um, the Japanese inspired um, landscaping in Second Life. It's always so beautiful and so colorful. I love the sounds here. I didn't hear many sounds on the in the main area, so I'm not sure if the main area had sounds, but I didn't really hear it. And so here I hear birds and things like that, and I really, really like it. So this is like a really cool zen meditation type space, really nice. So this is another space. This is a really cool um, rooftop bar. Has that nice, you know, futuristic Miami vibe to it. I really like it. I love the, um, the little signage that's over here, like the real bright signage over here and over here. The way that they mixed in the dark with the light, I really, really like it. I really, really like it. I'm still dealing with like being hoarse every now. I don't know what that's about. I just don't know. I'm like, is it because I don't, I don't normally talk a lot? So me doing these videos, I'm talking more than probably I ever talk which I don't have a problem with that. I love talking to y'all, but I think my, my voice box is like, hold up now. We don't normally do all of this. We're not, we not chatty like this. I'm like, listen, I'm, I'm talking to my people. That's who I'm talking to. Y'all, so we are growing. I thank y'all so much. I'm super duper excited about this. I think that at 500 subscribers, I'm going to, I want to come up with like a name for us. You know, all the channels, like they call their people like something. I like, I want to call y'all something. I don't know. I got to figure it out. Maybe we'll figure it out together. I have some ideas. I don't want to say it just now because I, I don't know, but I'm definitely feeling like we are growing to the point as to where we need a name, right? We definitely need a name. It's all grungy and then they have the wine out here. Hey, listen, I ain't mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. So this space is like, it's giving me like tent city vibes. 
definitely um outdoor living in a different type of way it's like y'all choosing to live outside um living like this is y'all on tvs we got electricity the computer is on the computer is on we got lights and stuff like that it's just this this is feeling like an option you know it's it's feeling like yeah this, this is where we want to be i ain't mad at it it's grungy it's dingy but it's pretty I like it. I love the graffiti on the walls. I don't know how they managed to to put beauty, like to, to bring out the beauty in a space like this. I don't know, but for me, they, they definitely did it. I think it's like the graffiti with all of the colors and things like that. Everything is so, um, it's so nice and colorful. I like that. Keep your coins, I want change. Oh, I know that's right. That's a, that's a word right there. That's a word. So it does seem like they offer, I don't know if these are rentals or if these are just like role play rooms. It's giving role play rooms. Definitely futuristic. I like this. It has like that, it's a, it's a clean grunge type feel to it. I really love how they put all of this together. I really do. What's crazy is when I came here, I was completely prepared to only show that the main area that we were in because I felt like, hold on, what's the, it says open. I want to see, is it going to open for me? No, it looked like it might've been some, okay, never mind. It does open. You got to click it. I was absolutely prepared to just show that main area because I felt like it was such a great place to take pictures, but I didn't, I didn't expect it to have all of this. When I panned out, I just looked at the size of the space and I was like, okay, this, this will be nice to venture around and things like that. I'm like, it'll be a little small, but it's a nice space. But just to know that they have like a teleport system that will take you to all of these different spaces and places is super duper cool. It just adds so much more to the land. So it's gone from a space where it's like, oh, this is a cool space. How dope is this? Like, this is a cool space to come and take pictures to this is a place that you can actually come and explore. I thought it was going to I thought it was a small land. I really did. I thought it was a small land, but it is not. It is much, much larger than um, what I expected. Is this like a bonsai tree? Is that what it, it's called? I know they kind of look different. This is like a larger one. I like it. I love the colors in here. I want to look at this. Super nice. It's like a, it looks like a city scene to me. I like that, loving this art. I love the purple, I love the views from here. You can see the rest of the city, it's so nice, I love it. So they also have a lab, that's what they're calling this. I love this, look at these views. I love this, what's over here? It don't look like nothing. Okay, so it's nothing. That's cool, cause what's over here? It's real bright. I love the contrast from going from the dark to the very, very bright. It looks very sterile over here. It's definitely giving like lab type vibes. I love these little orbs or spheres, either one, I, I like it. I do like it. So they have everything kind of like little cubicles and things like this. It, it's looking very like alien-like. Can I get on here? I like that. So you have like, does it have different poses or it does different things? Okay. And see, I like stuff like this. Stuff where it lets you interact with it and the things are very um, specific to the space. 
very on brand. Everything here is definitely cohesive. It's definitely meshing with the vibe of the land. Got some like some DNA strands. All right. Very nice picture options for up here as well. Um, I see so many pictures that people do like this in Second Life where they have like this type of feel to it. And a lot of times I know, well, sometimes I know that they are, I'll oh, just do different things. A lot of times I know that they are backdrops, but I feel like sometimes they do come to lands like this to um, take their pictures. What's voltage? What does that do? Oh Lord, they got Analyzing hard Please wait. Preparing shock. Oh, what is gonna do? Oh, oh okay, they ain't they not playing. We don't scare we, we, ain't, we ain't doing no life support. We ain't doing that. Fear I like this. They have like little role play elements that I think are really, really nice additions um, to the space and to the, to the lab. Does this go to anything? I'm just walking around. I'm like, does it go to something? At first I didn't think it went to anything. So this is like the little lab they have. Y'all have to check this place out. I know I'm missing a lot of different spots and I like that. But I'm like, I don't want this video to be too long, but I am, I'm intrigued. I really am. Where am I gonna take my thumbnail? That's always like the thing for me. I'm like, where am I gonna take my thumbnail? I don't know, you guys. I don't know. But it's gonna be somewhere. So when you guys see this video, this video is probably going to end up going up at like 2.30 or something like that. I might put it up a little later than that. I don't know. It'll be done um, in a couple hours. It's like 10 right now. Today was a day. Today was a day. But I feel like this is kind of like a de-stressor for me now to be able to venture around here and show you guys these um, spaces. It just kind of gives me a way to like de-stress, which this is what Second Life is about. It's supposed to be a like a release for you to just come and chill and vibe out and just be someplace not real life. And so today, this space, Second Life really, really was that outlet for me because it was, it was, today, today was a day. So there's still so many nice places to find and explore at Chiba. So I definitely hope you guys check this place out. The landmark for Chiba will be in the description box below. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoy bringing it to you guys. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.